Here we are, and Robbie Burns' famous Brigadoon, the Tam O'Shanter Bridge. And just a wee bit up that way I was born. And just a stone's throw, literally a stone's throw back that way is Rizal Park in here, where I have five of my earliest sculptures. All this my growing up place. The, the pieces, the five pieces collectively are known as Christus Immolatus Tragicae, the tragic sacrifice of Christ. The granite actually was part of Air Harbour Wall, and they were going to dump the granite in the, the Firth of Forth. And I persuaded them that I would take the granite and I'd make these sculptures for this Bonnie Park, my hometown. I have to say, I was on the dole at the time, it was a very difficult time. But anyway, never mind that. Here is Golgotha Madonna. Golgotha Madonna, Mary, the mother of Christ. And there she is, the bottom of the cross with all the pain of a mother losing her son. Perhaps what you, if the camera moves around, you will see this bolt going right through her, like a wound into her side. My goodness, how I worked the stone in those days, I really took it to quite a finish. I have to say, the influence all these years ago, I think, is quite oceanic and quite tribal. The yoke, the scourging of Christ, the flagellation of Christ. I know this, these pieces, are not very, it's not very fashionable these days to be carving things like this, but my, my, how the world needs it. We need hope. We need Christ's hope, especially at this time when miners are trapped in Chile. Let's hope they get out of the terrible predicament. There's a piece, when I carved that, I thought about the back of Christ taking the whip. What more can I say about that? Oh, it's wonderful to see them weathering and so still. This is quite emotional for me to be here. These pieces I placed here oh, 30 years ago. And I carved them here in this Roselle Park in Ayr, my hometown. This is the deposition of Christ when Christ was taken down from the cross. This is my first serious sculpture. I started carving it when I was 18 years of age. It is quite a complex work. It's a derivative work. I was influenced by Michelangelo with the muscle tones. I carved the Christ here in Pieta form. The Madonna there and this supportive, I think it was a St. John. And this more complex figure up here, which is like a, be it was a beggar on the cross. And he swoops down, and one of his arms turns into the eye, the eye of God. Perhaps God was there as one of the, be one of the beggars. It's so funny, I couldn't realize the head of Christ or, or Mary's mother then. I made them these cubists, these sort of cosmic heads. This is Edessa Messiah, based on the Turin Shroud, which found its way to Edessa. Strange thing about this, it's actually very tribal. It's like a black Christ carved in white granite. It's also white now with all the wonderful lichens, but I'm very pleased about that. And I love the fact the nostril, it's almost polished in there with people touching it. The last piece in the group is called Pieta, the fallen Christ, the legs, the arms wrapped up, there's no head, but it's just this Pieta lying and wrapped up. 
was really sad as my mom and dad wanted to actually scarf the brain this piece. It's such a beautiful setting here, Roselle Park in here. It's just I love this place. Such memories. Such memories. <laughs>